Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Spoonacular API to search for recipes. So, if I search for bagels, that sounds good. Search for bagels and click search, I get everything bagels ready in 70 minutes and the link to a recipe. So, I can show you how to do that. Let's get started. So before we start, you're going to need to have the link to jQuery copied, and you're also going to need to sign up on their website for an API key. Don't worry, it's free, uh, with limits. I think you have a maximum of 150 queries per month? Something like that. Not sure, but it is free. Pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML, and start by making a doctype tag. Exclamation mark, doctype, HTML. On the next line, make a script tag. Script src equals, and in quotes, paste in the link to jQuery. Great, you're all good. Now close the script tag, slash script, and make an input tag. Input input id equals open quotes search close quotes and you don't have to close it because it's an input tag and they're weird button on click equals open quotes get recipe or whatever you're going to call the function in the future that's what i'm going to call it document dot get element with a capital e by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open the different kinds of quotes. So as you can see, the first time I open double quotes here. So the second time, I want to open single quotes. And type search, because that's what we called the input. Close the kind of quotes you just opened. Dot value, and close the other kinds of quotes, the double quotes in that case. And inside it, you can just put search slash button. Great. Now on the next line, create a div. We give it the ID output. So ID equals output, close quotes. And close the div tag. You don't need to put anything in it right now because the script is going to do that. Next, make an A tag for link. A ref equals open quotes, close quotes, just needs to be there, but don't give it any value. ID equals open quotes source link. You can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm calling mine. And close the A tag, don't put anything inside it. We are going to fill it up shortly. Now before we start the JavaScript, go and sign up for your API key, get it copied. I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, great. Now that you've got your API key copied, open a script tag. Script, and inside it, create a function. Function. And let's call it get source. Get source. Open parentheses, ID. Because we are going to use the ID number. Now, dollar sign dot Ajax to make a request open parentheses, open curly braces, on the next line, URL, colon, and that link will be the first endpoint in the description, or you can just type out the whole thing like I'm about to, https, colon, slash, slash, I think I put an extra T in there, wait a second, https, colon, slash, slash, api, dot, spoonacular, dot com, slash recipes slash close quotes plus ID so this input up here plus open quotes again slash information question mark API key with a capital K equals and paste in your API key that's mine. Don't use it. 
close quotes, comma. On the next line, success, colon, function, open parentheses, res, close parentheses, open curly braces, document, dot, get, element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, source, link, so this A tag right here, this link, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, inner, HTML, with a capital H, T, M, and L, equals, res, dot, source, URL, with a capital U. And then do this again, document dot get element by ID, open parentheses, open quotes, source link, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, and this time make it pref, so that, so that the link goes somewhere, equals, and again, res dot source URL with a capital U. And what this does is whatever ID, whatever recipe ID you put into here, it'll search for using the API and it'll take the source link from it, so what website it came from, and it'll put it into there so that, you know, you can click on it and go read the recipe. Great. Close curly braces. Close them again, close parentheses, semicolon, and again, close curly braces. But wait, we're not done yet. Make another function. Function, and call it get recipe, or whatever you called it up here, using this, in, this button. I called mine get recipe, open parentheses, Q for query, close parentheses, open curly braces. And inside it, we're going to do something similar. Dollar sign dot Ajax to call the API. Open parentheses, open curly braces, URL, colon, open quotes, and paste in the second API endpoint. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, up here in the first API endpoint, the description says 1234 after recipe slash. Replace that with closing quotes and adding in whatever ID is inputted. Okay, great. URL colon down here. Paste in the second endpoint or type with me. HTTPS colon slash slash API dot spoonacular dot com slash recipes hard word to spell slash search question mark API key with a capital K equals and paste in your API key and symbol ampersand number equals one because we only want one result we're only using the top result and symbol again ampersand query equals close quotes plus Q comma and on the next line success colon function open parentheses again we're going to use the variable name res close parentheses open curly braces and cite it document dot get element with a capital E by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, output, close quotes, close parentheses, dot inner, HTML, with a capital H, T, M, and L, equals, open quotes, open an H1 tag, so, you know, greater than symbol, oh no, less than symbol, H1, greater than symbol, close quotes, plus, res dot results 
I spell that right? No, I didn't. Results, open square brackets, zero, close square brackets, dot title, plus, open quotes again, slash h1 to close the h1 tag, br for line break, and img for image, src equals, and open whatever other kind of quotes there are. So I last time opened double quotes, so you're going to open single quotes, if you did the same thing as me, and close the double quotes. Great. And now you're going to put plus res dot base URI with a capital U plus res dot results open square brackets zero close square brackets dot image and what this does is it takes the base which is something dot spoonacular dot com and it adds the file name of the image to it because it doesn't give it to you all at once for whatever reason plus and you're going to open your double quotes and close your single quotes if you did the same thing as me. Width equals open single quotes 400, close single quotes. That's just so the image is a reasonable size. And then slash and greater than sign to end the image tag. And then br, line break ready in space you have to have the space after ready in otherwise it'll be weird close quotes plus res dot results open square brackets zero close square brackets dot ready in with a capital I minutes with a capital M plus open quotes space, you have to have the space there, minutes, close quotes. And now one more thing, get source, open parentheses, res dot results, open square brackets, zero, close square brackets, dot id, close parentheses, close curly braces, and then close them again, close parentheses, and close the curly braces one more time. Close the script tag. Now we need to call this function here because it's going to make a call to a different API endpoint to get you the link to the recipe. Great, now close the script tag, slash script, and save that file. I'm going to call mine spoonacular. .html. Save. Turns out I forgot to close the parentheses up here in the button on click. So if you close them, congratulations. If not, close them now. Great. Now save that. Pop up in Firefox or whatever browser you prefer to use. Find the file on your computer and drag it into a new tab. Great. Now I'm going to search for sandwich. Sandwich. And click search. Vietnamese chicken sandwich with pickled vegetables. Ready in 75 minutes. Man, that takes a long time to make. Let's see the recipe. So, as you can see, it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, the iPad uses the greatest stylus in the world. Your finger. The Apple Pencil!